Welcome back. In the last tutorial, we learned how to program our drone to move to different waypoints. In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys some math proxy commands that will help with the with the development of these different navigation programs. Uh, I will also be showing you guys some parameters that will affect the speed uh, and the aggressiveness of the drone moving to these different waypoints. So, without further ado, let's get started. Yeah, so I've already set up a gazebo simulator with the terminals already ready for us to start going ahead and running commands. So the first commands uh, I'm going to run are the takeoff commands, which are the commands that we've been running in previous tutorials. So I'm going to go ahead and run mode, guided, and then the arm command, and then throttle, and then takeoff, and three. So the drone should go ahead and take off. And this should be a good transition into the first command, the first new command I'm going to teach you, which is the position command. So the position command allows you to just fly your drone around to wherever you want by speci specifying waypoints in the terminal. And these wa waypoints are specified in the reference frame NED, which uh, means that your um, first axis, the X axis, is coming out the front of the drone and your Y axis is coming out the right side of the drone and your Z axis is coming out the and pointing downwards. So if you give it the waypoint 2, 2, 2, it's going to end up flying forward to the right and then down 2. So it's important to remember that your Z axis is opposite of what you would think. Um, so let's go ahead and run the command position pose uh, 30 0 0 and it should just go forward 30 meters all right perfect so this is a good transition into the next concept I want to talk about which is the artery pilot parameters so uh, in ArduCopter, in ArduPilot, there are a bunch of parameters that specify the behavior of the drone, right? So the most interesting uh, parameters are the waypoint nav parameters, and these will basically, you can specify the speed and the acceleration um, of the drone when it's flying to waypoints. So let's go ahead and check what the speed is of the drone. So to do this, we can use the uh, command param, and then show, and then uh, the parameter waypoint nav, and then underscore speed. So it's set to 500 centimeters per second, so 5 meters per second. This is actually pretty rather quick, and if you're testing new drone, uh, new new software that you've wrote for your drone, I would really recommend you not fly your drone at 5 meters per second. That would be rather scary. So let's go ahead and set that parameter to uh, 100 centimeters per second. So param set and then waypoint uh, nav underscore speed 100. So now if we go, if we run the position 30, uh, 0, 0, we should see the drone fly a lot slower to that waypoint, which is what we're seeing. So the next um, command that I'm going to teach you is the set yaw command, and the set yaw command basically uh, points the drone in different com directions. And the way you use this one is as follows. So if you run just set yaw, you can see the usage for the command. And if you run, and this applies to all the other commands, so if you run position uh, and nothing else, it'll give you kind of hints on how to use the command. So let's look at set yaw. It'll be the angle, the angular speed you want it to move, and then the mode, so absolute or relative. So if you want an absolute, uh, so relative would just be relative to what it's facing now, and then absolute would uh, is just a compass heading. So let's go ahead and do set yaw. Uh, and then we'll have it face 50 degrees and move at 10 um, degrees per second and that'll be relative. So let's go ahead and move it back to where it was. So let's do set yaw uh, 0 and then uh, absolute. Boom. It's set back. So the next one 
the next thing I want to show you guys is RTL, which stands for Return to Land. And so this is um, really useful when your drone gets really far from where you started and you want it to return. So RTL also has a bunch of really nice uh, parameters, much like the Waypoint Nav uh, speeds. Uh, and I would recommend changing these to whatever you would like it, uh, like the behavior to be. Something to note is by default the waypoint nav uh, or the RTL altitude is really high. I think it's 15 meters. So in gazebo, that's going to take a little while for your drone to go all the way up to 15 meters and then fly back. So I'd recommend setting it to around 8 meters, which is what I've done. Um, and then, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and just run this command. So let's do mode RTL. Boom. So our drone's pretty far away, so this might take a little while. So it flew up, and then now it's just going to go ahead and fly all the way back. So I think the waypoint nav speed actually dominates the RTL speed. So if the waypoint nav speed is 100 and the RTL speed is set higher, then I believe it will take the waypoint nav speed. So let's go ahead and set the waypoint nav speed higher. So I am set waypoint nav underscore speed 500. No, it just takes the waypoint nav speed. So you can adjust that to make it come back faster if you want uh, using the waypoint nav speed command or the RTL speed command. Um, yeah, so I've also uh, made like a nice list of some useful commands, um, but these are the main ones that I want you to know for now. So in the next tutorial, we're going to continue to keep making our drone more complex. See you in the next one.